So, word around the street is that Craven the Hunter is apparently a animal lover in the upcoming Craven movie. Yeah, instead of just calling up Andrew Garfield or Tobey Maguire or any Spider-Man you want to call up and just do Craven's Last Hunt or just do some type of Craven versus Spider-Man story, it would have been better. You know, I feel like that's the main issue with a lot, and I mean a lot of these Sony projects. These are supposed to be Spider-Man villains, or at the very least, antagonists. Yet, they've never even gone up against Spider-Man in their first debut. So that's why I feel like all of these movies, they don't do so well long term. Because a lot of these movies, they're not connected by almost nothing to do with what made them prominent in the first place, which is Spider-Man himself. Like, it's a very strange way to do movies nowadays. You know, like, y- you want to make every single villain an anti-hero, but you still want to do a Sinister Six. Like, and now it doesn't make any sense, because why would Morbius be teaming up, or at least willing to team up, to fight against Spider-Man? Y- you get what I'm saying? It's kind of weird, and we still don't even know what Spider-Man it is. You know, with all the woke culture, I bet money that it's going to be Miles. But if it's not Miles and it's Andrew, hey... That's my wish list fulfilled, but um, I doubt it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they're going to go to write a blackie Spider-Man. Peter Darker, so to speak. Which is fine. If that's what they want to do, go crazy. Do your thing. Politi- political messaging is now the new norm in in all of these shows. And if you disagree with that, then you're capping. But um, yeah, honestly, my thoughts on the situation, I'm really kind of pissed off. I'm not going to lie to you. Like... It's not really something I'm excited about, especially since I'm a fan of Aaron Taylor Johnson's work, and especially in the MCU, the little time we've had with the guy. I don't know. I just have a special place in my heart for the guy. And I've seen him in other projects. You know, he's great in Kick-Ass. So I have a connection to this actor to some extent, or at least I have a fondness of this actor. Like, I know he's good. I know he's going to crush it in the role. But my issue is the material he's given and the hatred that will come his way because of that. You get what I'm saying? Like, just look at Jared Leto. He will never be able to live the Joker down. I mean, I'm pretty sure he would rather forget that part of his career. If I'm being blunt with you, bro. Because, man, this man is getting so much hate even now. No matter what he does, it's never good enough for any type of fan. So, yeah. My whole thing is, yeah, I just don't like where Hollywood is going when it comes to superhero movies and properties. Like, in this society, the state of it right now is pretty bad. It's nothing but a bunch of pansies, ballless cornballs who can't even handle a hunter being a hunter. It's not like we don't have actual hunters in real life. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's such a weird thing to change about this character pretty much one of the fundamental aspects about his character that's like making spider-man spider-man but he never uses web shooters or he only has like half of his abilities or something stupid like that you know it's, it's such an unnecessary change to a character who's supposed to be part of the quote sinister six you get what i'm saying you get what i'm trying to get at it's a very strange way to go and i honestly don't appreciate this because i actually like craven the hunter's character to be honest i really do um so this kind of it kind of irritates me a little bit not gonna lie to you now i could go on and on about how oh it has something to do with woke culture but it does and i'm gonna get into that anyway but i do feel like this is more to do with sony just being incompetent after all they're making a very obscure wrestler who probably tangled with spider-man one singular time and they're gonna make a movie out of this guy yeah they're they're doing that this is so i can't really just blame this on society and the state of the world in america nowadays it's a little bit of everything but more importantly sony just doesn't know what they're doing they don't know what these fans want like the fans know exactly what they want from sony and sony just doesn't care i keep trying to tell you these companies don't give a damn anymore They already want your money and you're going to pick up every single thing and you're going to keep shilling it. Y'all need to learn to critique the things that you hate or at least dislike if you want it to change. Dude, I know it seems like us fans, we don't have that much power, but No Way Home, I think we did that. To be perfectly honest, we did that. 
the whole reason why it's popular the way it is is because we did that bro that was us bro the fans you think we can't make more shit happen like sony even acknowledges the tasm 3 we did that we have the power to change these companies at least for the most part you know what i'm saying if you just put your foot down and say no to this crap i'm pretty sure eventually they gonna stop wanting to go broke and they gonna stop going woke i mean hey maybe it's a pipe dream i don't know but at the end of the day something do gotta give with this and this is really gonna keep upsetting fans because these companies are just basically shooting the middle finger at all of these fans of any character they adapt because they know that we don't want this and they don't give a damn and again that is my issue with these people they just don't care anymore like the whole reason these people are making these movies is to appeal to some audience right so like who, who are they appealing to the small minority of people who actually don't watch this shit don't pick up these comic books don't know jack squat about this character and it just it, it just feels really fake whenever they try to pretend as if they care for the fans no you want the money in our pockets and of course shills are going to keep biggying up everything that they do you already know the standard people they'll just praise everything they'll say oh everything is amazing that comes out i'm looking at new rock stars i'm looking at the emergency awesomes of the world hell even the freaking heavy spoilers they all do the same thing they all just freaking praise everything blindly you know they don't want to talk about the bad writing too much you know they can't can't upset the freaking people who literally give you early access to shit and you know screen press reviews and you know what i'm saying celebrity appearances and all that shit so yeah they're literally in disney and dc's pockets for the most part by all technical means and there's no way around that and i just feel like they just are very disingenuous with how they approach these shows but hey that's just me peace